Kia ora, ko bless drangaho. This is the first of two films on the New Zealand Family Court when you don't have a lawyer. Going into the Family Court without a lawyer can be stressful and confusing. So I'm going to give you some tips. Where you are allowed a lawyer, not everyone can afford one, and some people choose to represent themselves. Today, we'll have a look at a typical New Zealand Family Court. Once you know what to expect, you can focus better on what to say to the judge. The tips in this movie are not legal advice, but they cover practical stuff. Hemi is recently separated. His ex has applied for court orders about their children, and he has received a notice of a conference with a judge. There are five different types of conference, but in short, every conference is an opportunity to reach an agreement and to meet with a judge to find out what happens next. Hemi's conference is called an issues conference. He has brought his friend Kahu with him for support. Hey mate, do you have time? 12 o'clock. What time's your conference starting here, mate? 12.30. Let's go and see which courthouse we're in. Sweet. It pays to get there early, so you've got time to settle yourself and check out the court. Make sure you arrange childcare, parking and time off work so you won't be worried or distracted. You can visit the court a few days earlier. It is a public place, so you can visit and look around. You may have to pass through security, like at an airport. You can't take any weapon or sharp object into the courtroom. You can ask at the court office to look at the courtroom, although that might not be possible if there is another case going on. At least you can check out the waiting area and the interview rooms. Am I able to take my friend into court with me? Yes, you can. Just go in and ask the judge. It should be fine. The courtroom's that way. Thank you. If the judge agrees, you can have a support person in court, or you can have what is called a Mackenzie friend. That is, someone to sit beside you and assist you, but they can't speak for you in court. If you want a Mackenzie friend, the judge will generally expect your friend to fill out a form where they promise to abide by the rules. Either way, the judge will want to know whether the other party agrees or has a fair objection. If you want to take a friend or a support person into court, you should advise the other party. If they disagree, you can still ask the judge. Sometimes a judge will permit whānau members or groups to sit in court, but it is up to the judge. A new partner might have an interest in what is going on, but their presence might inflame the process. Here is Miriama, Hemi's ex. She has left the children with Farno to look after them but her sister has brought her child with her and Miriama has brought her auntie. There are usually private interview rooms, so if it's awkward to be around your ex, you can find a private space. If you're worried about your safety, you can let the court office know, preferably in advance. They will arrange security if necessary, often if there is a security officer around the court area. Tēnā kōra. Tēnā koe, Hemi. auntie. It's a good idea to talk to the other side before you go into court. Ask what they're going to ask the judge to do. Tell them what you're going to ask for. If you want whānau members or a support person or a Mackenzie friend in court, let the other side know. And tell the court taker too. Remember, even if your case is listed for a certain time, it may not start at exactly that time. Ask the court taker when it is likely to start. Sometimes other cases take longer or run on. Your case may take longer or shorter than you expect. I'll call you a matter when it's due. Okay, but we're running about five minutes. Yep, thank you. Thank you. We are going to look at a conference where the judge will check out what is agreed, what is in dispute, and to get the case ready for a defended hearing. The judge might also make orders to define child care arrangements until the hearing. Another video deals with the defended hearing. At a defended hearing, the evidence will be considered and the case decided. But in this video, we are concentrating on the conference with the judge. Mr. Waimati, if you can just go to your right, please, and your support person will sit at the back. And Ms. Penitito, if you just go to the left, please, and your support person will go to the back. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are in the courtroom for the judicial conference. Miriam's sister can't come in because she has brought a young child. Children are usually not allowed in the courtroom because they can disrupt the proceedings. Sometimes a very young baby is allowed, but it's best if someone can care for the child outside. 
You can't eat or bring drinks in the courtroom, but there should be water and tumblers to drink out of. If you need water, ask for it. The court is like a marae. It has its own kawa that everyone has to observe. The main purpose of the process is to ensure everyone gets a fair chance to speak and that everyone is polite. This can be stressful, but the judge will expect you to behave properly. You have to stand up when the judge enters or leaves the court. You should stand when you are speaking to the judge and sit down the rest of the time. Don't interrupt anyone who is speaking to the judge. The correct way to address the judge is, Your Honour, or you can call a female judge, Ma'am, and a male judge, Sir. The family court is now open in the matter of Penatito and Waimari. Good afternoon, please be seated. Good afternoon, Ms Penatito. Good afternoon, Mr Waimari. Ms Penatito, the court taker tells me that you have your auntie with you. Can you please stand and introduce her? Yes, Your Honour. This is my auntie, Sharon Ward. Kia ora. Kia ora. Thank you. Mr Waimari, I understand that you have a support person with you. Can you please stand and introduce him? Uh, yes, ma'am. My support person is Kau Tangito. Kia ora. Kia ora, Mr Tangito. Well, thank you. The judge is finding out what is agreed, what is in dispute and what needs to be done. The judge may also make interim orders. Interim orders are temporary orders for the care of or contact with the children, which will probably stay in place until there is a hearing. It is a good idea to make notes in advance to remind yourself to cover everything. These notes made by Hemi are helpful. At the end of the conference, after hearing from everyone, the judge will state what is to happen next. It would be a good idea for you or your support person or Mackenzie friend to write down the judge's instructions. If you don't get everything, ask the judge to repeat them. Ms Penetito, Mr Waimaria, this is what I've decided to do. Mr Waimaria shall have interim contact with the children 3pm Friday until 4pm Sunday every weekend and during the first week of the school holidays. Ms Penetito, you shall file your affidavit within two weeks from today to set out your evidence. Mr Waimaria, you shall file your affidavits two weeks after receiving Ms Penetito's. This case will then be set down for a three hour hearing. Thank you very much for coming today. Registrar, I think I'll take the lunch adjournment now. Kia tō e tu. Silence, please all stand. Kua hiki te kuti. The court is now adjourned. These tips are designed to help you if you are representing yourself in the family court in a conference with a judge. Just a quick recap. Wear appropriate clothes. Get to court early. Remember, your case may take longer than you expect. You can ask to have a support person or Mackenzie friend with you in court. Conferences are meetings with the judge. Stand when the judge comes into court. When you speak to the judge, don't interrupt when others are speaking. Remember to write down any instructions that the judge gives. For tips on appearing at the hearing without a lawyer, see part two of these video clips. Kia ora.